Wigner Seitz unit cell of the FCC lattice. Describe the Wigner Seitz unit cell for an FCC lattice, that is face centered cubic lattice, in three dimensions. The Wigner Seitz unit cell of an FCC lattice is called a rhombic dodecahedron. So, what we need to do here is to basically uh, find a reference uh, point in the lattice and connect it to its neighbors. And we can start with the nearest neighbors, but sometimes it's not enough to just connect to nearest neighbors. We just have to connect it to all the neighboring uh, lattice points so that we can see uh, the Wigner Seitz unit cell that is the smallest volume that will be defined by the uh, planes that are perpendicular to the midpoints of these uh, connecting lines. So, for the face-centered cubic lattice, let's remember what we have. We have um, basically lattice points at the face centers, and uh, so I choose one lattice point, that is this red point here, as the reference point, and I look at the nearest neighbors. The nearest neighbor distance is from the face center to one of the corners, that is, for a lattice constant A, uh, a square root 2 over 2, so n and d is the nearest neighbor distance. So within the nearest neighbor distance, you can see here with respect to this reference lattice point uh, in the middle, I have the, the atoms, uh, the, the lattice points that are on the green plane, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, the lattice points that are on the black plane, 5, 6, 7, 8, and lattice points on the uh, blue plane, 9, 10, 11, and uh, 12. So we have uh, 12 nearest neighbors. So 4 plus 4 plus 4, 12. And each of these are at a distance uh, a square root 2 over 2 from the reference point. And so you can see the coordination number for an FCC lattice is 12. So that's the first thing I want to note here. The coordination number for an FCC lattice is 12. So uh, the procedure to find the Wigner Seitz unit cell is uh, to connect a, a reference lattice point to its neighbors. So in order to do that, I start with uh, drawing two FCC unit cells on top of each other. So let's draw two FCC face-centered cubic unit cells on top of each other. So that's what I have done here. And here, basically, I could also count the number of nearest neighbors to be 12. Then I uh, connect this reference point to its uh, neighbors. So those are those 12 nearest neighbors that I'm connecting to. So the procedure is found uh, is uh, as follows. The Wigner Seitz WS unit cell. is given by the intersection of planes that are perpendicular perpendicular to and including the midpoints of the lines connecting the reference point, the reference lattice uh, site to its neighbors.
And as I mentioned, sometimes it's enough to consider the nearest neighbor, sometimes it's not. For the FCC case, it's enough to consider the nearest neighbors. Uh, so you can see here, I have the connections to these 12 nearest neighbors. And uh, the connections were made with these purple lines. And when I look at the perpendicular uh, planes to these lines at the midpoint, so basically I have to consider here uh, perpendicular to this midpoint, perpendicular to this uh, midpoint, etc. So I follow this procedure for each of them. And basically this is what I find. So my reference point is connected to 12 nearest neighbors and I have the planes that are uh, perpendicular to uh, these uh, um, line connecting lines at the midpoints. And so it's the smallest volume enclosed by these, uh, the intersection of these planes that gives me the Wigner sites unit cell. And as mentioned in the problem statement, this is called a rhombic dodecahedron. It's a 12-faced uh, object. It's called rhombic dodecahedron. Okay, so uh, in summary, uh, we wanted to find the Wigner size unit cell of an FCC lattice. So the procedure to find the Wigner size unit cell in three dimensions is to find a reference point connected to its neighbors and uh, draw planes that are perpendicular to these connection lines at the midpoints and find the smallest volume enclo enclosed by those planes. And to do that, I have drawn two FCC unit cells on top of each other and I have chosen the one in the middle, uh, the lattice point in the middle to be my reference point, that is the one in red. And I have identified the nearest neighbors and I've connected this reference point to the nearest neighbors and draw perpendicular uh, planes at the midpoints. And that gives me, this procedure gives me this rhombic dodecahedron, a 12-faced object, uh, as you can see here. And also these nearest neighbors, uh, if a lattice site is a nearest neighbor or not, I have to find the, the smallest distance between two lattice sites that is the, uh, that can be found here as a square root two over two. So you have to be careful by checking uh, the distance from your reference point to the uh, neighbors to see if it satisfies this condition. The distance is a square root two over two. And as I said, for uh, other objects, it may not be enough just to consider the uh, the nearest neighbors. The next nearest neighbors uh, may also be considered. Uh, well, we have to see if uh, any of those planes that are going through the uh, midpoints of those lines, perpendicular to those uh, connect connection lines, uh, will have any intersection with the uh, with this plane uh, with this uh, unit cell. Uh, so that may uh, give us a different answer. So in the case of face-centered cubic lattice, this is not the case. We can just uh, consider the nearest neighbors and that will give us the uh, Wigner-Seitz unit cell as rhombic dodecahedron.